hey you guys welcome back to my channel i am back with another video and as i'm sure you've noticed on the thumbnail today we are doing yet another product review to be specific betty cora they recently reached out to me and they asked if they could send me a few of their products so that i can review them for you guys and i'm so excited the package arrived and we're gonna go through each and every item together as per usual and let's get into this review so this is the package this is how everything came it's quite a hefty package um and immediately i could tell there's going to be a lot of stuff in here i went ahead and just opened it up and took everything out one by one now i just quickly wanted to mention that betty cora is mainly a press on company um i'm going to leave all the details in my description box they have really really great press on nails please head over there and check out some of their press on so let's quickly take a look at the first item the these are the long stiletto pre-shaped nail tips these are soft gel tips and they come numbered so you know the sizes of your nail and the nice thing is that they come pre-edged inside as you guys can see next product I pulled out of the package is the rhinestone glue now this was packaged really really well and they sealed it in a plastic little bag just so that if it spills everything is contained but luckily everything arrived in perfect condition Um, I went ahead and opened it up as you can see the nozzle is nice and pointy which is great if you're going to be applying rhinestones I went ahead and squeezed out a little bit you guys can see it is transparent and it's quite thick I've never actually really experimented with a rhinestone glue so I'm really excited to try this product out Next up is this square little box and I wasn't really sure what was inside so I went ahead and opened it and inside is a solid nail glue gel I went ahead and opened it up and just to feel around the product as you guys can see it is the standard viscosity of a glue gel very malleable very thick as you guys can tell it stays in place and you can definitely mold it and create some 3d nail art with this gel which is awesome I will say though this particular one was a little bit more on the softer side but it worked just as well I really love that it is a three in one so you can get a lot of use from this one jar. Next up, I went ahead and pulled out another item from the bag. Quickly want to mention how I really love the aesthetic of the packages. I love the black, I love the holographic, and I think it's so sleek and so so cute. I'm here for it. Now taking a close look at this little bottle, this is an 8-in-1 nail glue gel. Now I know what you're thinking, 8-in-1, yes girl, 8-in-1. When I flipped this bottle around, um, at the back it clearly specified all the functions you can do with this gel. This is a base coat, a nail glue gel, a slip solution, a nail strengthener, a nail builder gel, a rhinestone adhesive, a blooming gel and a color mixer. I went ahead and opened it up and as you guys can see it's got the viscosity of sort of like a builder gel very thick and you can see how it coats the brush it doesn't move at all which made sense why you can have so many uses for it especially as a rhinestone glue or a builder gel or a base gel for your nails so it's basically it will just do all the important functions for you this one bottle um, i definitely cannot wait to try this out um, and see how well it works Now this is the last bag I pulled out from the main bag and as you guys can see they sent me quite a few items. Again I will have everything linked down below. Go check out the company. They have absolutely beautiful press on nails and I love that they're expanding the range of products that they are providing.
and now this bag was just full of three other sets of full cover tips the first one here is a medium square pre-shaped nail tips these are soft gel tips again and as you guys can see these come pre-edged thin towards the cuticles and are a little bit more thicker towards the free edge um, overall i really like these square ones cannot wait to try them Next up, I pulled out another set of tips. These are the long coffin pre-shaped nail tips. Again, these are soft gel tips. And I went ahead and just checked them out again. As you can, guys can see, these ones are a little bit longer. And I love that they've got a curve because that curve allows for product to sit nice and comfortably inside the nail. And they also come pre-edged. Next up was this bigger box and these are the extra short coffin um, pre-shaped nail tips. So when I open it up, I notice that these are come in a strip, which is very interesting. I love it when tips come on a strip because it makes it so much easier to test out and find your shape and your size. This particular shape isn't my favorite shape, but I'm definitely going to get some use out of these ones. Um, I'm excited to have these as well. Now the last item that I received are the short square matte gel tips. They also come in this matted out container. Unlike all the other ones, they were shiny. This one's with a matte. And when I actually opened them up, I noticed that they are also matted all the way. They just felt more um, tailor-made. I don't know if that makes sense, but they felt great also to the touch. And immediately I knew these are going to be the ones that I'm going to try out for today. You actually get quite a lot. So you get 15 of these on one single strip. So 30 all together in a strip. And then you get 10 of these. So all together you get 150 individual tips. Now, as always, we have to do this strength test on these. I went ahead and grabbed one of the gel ones. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just bend it a little bit because I noticed on the website they mentioned that these bend and they bounce back into shape. And I noticed that they do have a little bit of um, bounce to them. But the more I played around with them, they did give in just a little bit more. They do also turn a little bit white. Um, but when you open the nail up, the white line kind of disappears. Overall, they're quite thin, but I felt like for thin tips, they really held up very, very well. Now, you guys know I don't hold back. I really, really bent these and uh, gave them a run for their money. Um, they are not very thick, but they're also not very flimsy, I will say. And as you guys can see, this is how they held up after I bent them for a couple of times. So now let's check out the matte ones. So I went ahead and bent these and as you guys can see, they bent very, very easily. Again, they are quite thin, but they're not flimsy. I hope that makes sense. As you guys can see, I really bent these and just <laughs> really, really put them to the test. Just wanted to see if they are able to bounce back and how well they um, perform under pressure. And as you can see, this is how the nail look after I'm done with it. So not bad, you know, they aren't the strongest, but they, they can they can hold their own I think they did very very well overall these are all the items I received from Betty Cora I will leave the discount code on the screen so that you guys can get yourself 20% off this will only apply if you click the link that I will leave in the description box for you guys I also want to take a quick moment and say thank you so much to Betty Cora for sending me their awesome items I cannot wait to try them out for you guys and um, yeah let's see what set we come up with for today so let's get into the fun part so this is how my nails are looking at the moment. I did take a bit of a break, you guys. I've been away. I'm so sorry. But I kind of felt like I needed a break. So during that break, I just went ahead and cut my nails really short and soaked off um, the usual rubber base that I have on my nails. I just let my nails breathe for a second. 
um, so they definitely need some TLC. I'm going right in and grabbing my cuticle pusher and I'm pushing back my cuticles and uh, yeah, I'm just giving them some love. I'm also doing this very gently and removing all the dead skin that might be on my nail plate. Now remember you guys, you want to do this very gently, you don't want to hurt yourself at all. So I went ahead and did exactly the same for the rest of my nails. Once I'm done, I'm grabbing my buffing block, specifically going in towards the cuticle area, just making sure that I'm removing all the dead skin in that area, making sure that it's nice and prepped. And uh, yeah, overall to promote better adhesion of the product onto my natural nails. I went ahead and did exactly the same for the rest of my nails. I went ahead and did my DIY um, peel off base coat which is just some um, cuticle oil and some top coat I went ahead and just added some matte top coat on top of that just to promote a better adhesion of the product onto my nails and this is how my nails are looking after that you guys can see very clean they're looking neat and I really like this look I'm definitely ready for the next step now, as I mentioned, I really fell in love with these short square matte gel nail tips and I had to use these ones for today. I also wasn't in the mood for a very long nail set for today, so um, I thought that the short square would be perfect. Again, like I mentioned, I really like these because um, I like the cuticle area. Um, I liked how the cuticle area of these nails are shaped. Um, I also like the feel of them. I love the matte and they just overall just they complemented my nail beds very very well now you guys know the rule of thumb make sure that the tip you pick is fitting from side wall to side wall i went ahead and just brought it a little bit closer so you guys can see what i meant they almost have like a curve towards the cuticle area which just makes them look very natural and sit very flush up against your nail the only thing i didn't like about these is that there wasn't enough room for product these would work very well with glue instead of like gel um, but i went ahead and used them anyway even though i knew <laughs> Was gonna struggle a little bit so I went ahead and picked my sizes for the index finger I went ahead and picked from the square nail tips because if you guys take a closer look on my natural nails they they have like a curve okay like just naturally they tend to curve so I find that with the short square I just couldn't find a tip that set properly but when I grabbed the square it said perfect so I just took just one of these square um, long nails and the rest are the short ones so for today i'm going to be trying both gels when it comes to adhesion i really wanted to see which one would work best for me i'm also going to be using my model one's meow lamp just to help me flesh cure cool my nails i decided to start with the 18 one glue gel and i'm applying a thin layer as a base onto my nail and then i'm also just picked i also just picked up a little bit of the gel and applied it inside the tip i went ahead and switched on my lamp first then i applied the nail at a 45 degree angle pressing down i once was happy with how it was sitting i went ahead and uh, flash cured in my lamp Now I will say some of the products slipped out and touched my skin which is a huge no-no for me you guys because I am just really careful I do not want to get contact dermatitis um, especially because you know this is my line of work I'm constantly reviewing products so I'm very cautious about that so it did touch my skin a little bit as you guys can see I just went ahead and scraped it off with my cuticle pusher um, but I knew that, you know, for the rest of the nails, I'm going to go in with the solid glue gel because it was going to be easier to manage and it's not going to flood my cuticles. So I went ahead and picked that up. And as you can see, I'm using the tip to just scoop the product into the nail. And once I was happy with that, I go ahead and apply it onto my nail. 
this did not disappoint me at all. It sits where you place it, it gives me time, I can let go of the tip and if some of the product spills out, I went ahead and just grabbed my cuticle pusher and just cleaned before I cure the gel and then made sure there isn't any product curing onto my skin, which is a huge plus for me. I went ahead and cured in my meow lamp for 60 seconds, as you guys can see, just absolutely seamless application and I was really, really happy with that. I went ahead and pretty much continued and did the same for the rest of my nails. This is how my nails look when I was done. I went ahead and just grabbed my hand file and I'm just filing my nails into a nice crisp shape. After I'm done with that, I'm grabbing my buffing block and I didn't have to do this, but I'm just being a bit of a perfectionist and just making sure that they are nice and smooth for the next step, which is the nail art. Now this is the color I'm going to be going with today. This is by Blingo in the color 084. Now I do not have a link for this for this gel, you guys. I buy it at my local beauty store. Um, but I absolutely love this color. It's more of like an army green, very beautiful. We are currently in winter in South Africa. So I felt like this color was perfect for the set and for this time of the year. And this is how the gel color looks with just one coat. Really, really, really pretty. I love this color. Very, very military, you know? And this is how the color looks after I applied the second coat. And I went ahead and did exactly the same and applied two coats on the rest of my nails. And I absolutely love it. After I was done with that, I cured my lamp for 60 seconds. Now it's time to do the nail art, which is my favorite part of any nail video. <laughs> if I can just do videos with just nail art, I would definitely do that all the time. Nail art is just so much fun. And it's just such a great way to just express your creative side. Now I went ahead and zoomed you guys a little bit closer because I'm going to be doing some modeling and I'm doing this using just a standard white gel polish as you guys can see I'm just doing some squiggly lines and I'm going to be diffusing it with some pure acetone um, now you can also do this with some marble ink but um, when I learned this technique I used gel and I just find that it works for me but marble ink works way better and it's quicker but I just <laughs> enjoy the hard way so I went ahead and uh, draw my squiggly lines once I'm done with that I diffuse them with some acetone and then I go back with the white gel just to brighten up um, a few areas that way it gives it more dimension as if there are areas that are in the foreground while some areas are in the background so it gives the nail art some depth and uh, this is how the nail looks just play around with it there's no rhyme no reason um, just go with what you feel is right after I'm done with that I went ahead and did exactly the same for the rest of my nails and then I cured in my lamp for 60 seconds Now I went ahead and grabbed my, I'm going to just call it a rainbow transfer foil and I'm just pressing this directly onto my nails. I do not have any foil gel on my nail. I'm just simply working on the tacky layer of the gel. That's because I didn't want to have any uniform like pieces. I don't know if that makes sense. I just wanted it to look sporadic and it worked perfectly. I went ahead and just pressed that all up against the rest of my nails. After I was done with that, I applied some matte top coat just to seal it in while I do the rest of the nail art. Now I've had these shell pieces for quite a long time and I remember that I had them and I cannot wait and uh, I thought they would look perfect with this set so I went ahead and picked up a small piece. I'm going in with my solid um, glue gel again and I finally got my hands on some gloves you guys. I picked up small ones because I just wanted to make sure that they are not big that way I can mold the gel as you can see this gel is not sticking to the gloves whatsoever because I notice a few people complain about this 
it's gel sticking onto gloves this specific one doesn't stick I went ahead and picked out a small amount and I went ahead and just pressed it on my nail then I picked up that piece of green shell and I'm just smooshing it onto my natural nail and I'm really pressing hard because I wanted it to just squirt out along the sides then I went ahead and grabbed my silicone tool and kind of like mm, roughened it up a bit also just securing that piece of shell onto my nail making sure that it doesn't fall off and then I went ahead and cured in my lamp for 60 seconds Now I'm going in with my gold chrome powder. I'm going in with the deeper gold. I don't know if that makes sense, but the, the goldiest of the golds <laughs> in my palette. And, um, and now I'm going in with a make makeup applicator and I'm applying that and I'm rubbing that onto that solid um, glue gel. And as you guys can see, it picked up the chrome very well. I was very surprised actually. I thought I would have had to go in with some black gel so that it pops a bit more, but it didn't have a problem. I was able to just rub that on there so I make sure that I'm really rubbing and getting it into the crevices just so it looks really nice I was so surprised at how pretty that looked I went ahead and grabbed a cleanup brush with some acetone just to clean up around the edges and remove any excess product And then uh, now it's time to test out the rhinestone glue. As I mentioned earlier, I'm so excited to try this product. I've never ever used rhinestone glue. I've just always used hard gel or rubber based gel to attach my rhinestones or nail decals. So I'm very excited to try this product. Immediately I noticed it was nice and thick um, and I love that because that means my every time I place rhinestones on there, they're not going to move. And I love that because it gave me enough time to make sure that the uh, flat back pearls that I'm going in on the nails are sitting correctly and I went ahead and applied it all around my nails including the cuticle area and it didn't flood up my cuticles which was amazing and it gave me enough time again just to make sure that they're sitting correctly as you guys can see then I went ahead and cured in my lamp for 60 seconds I thought the pinky looked so cute by the way it was my favorite nail <laughs> so cute Next up, I went ahead and grabbed the same glue gel and um, I put it in the um, corners of my ring finger and my index finger. And again, I just took my silicone tool and created some indentations onto the gel just to give it some character. I cured it for 60 seconds in my lamp and uh, I went ahead and just applied some chrome on top of that again just to give it a little bit more character and to just make the whole look be cohesive especially with the middle finger went ahead again cleaned up around the edges using some acetone making sure that i'm removing the chrome um, powder that it's not sitting in areas that i don't want and um, so that the nails look nice and neat Now to finish up the nails, I grabbed my rhinestone glue again. This time around, we are doing some flat back pearls on the thumb, just so it ties in a little bit with the um, pinky. And I went ahead and picked out the sizes. I wanted the biggest one in the center, and then then they go smaller towards the outside of the nail. And I went ahead and I placed them there. And then I took some caviar beads um, and I applied them in between the nails just so I can have a little bit more detail. Now for the final part of the design, I decided that I wanted the pearl to be encapsulated. So I'm using the 18-in-1 glue gel to do this and I picked up a little bit of this. Now this product is thick, okay, so it wasn't not moving 
where I placed it, it stayed, which is awesome because I then got to maneuver it and have it sit exactly where I wanted to sit. And I loved how this looked. In the end, it kind of looked like a precious stone. Um, it was just so beautiful, you guys. I went ahead and cured that in my lamp for 60 seconds. And then off camera, I went ahead and I and applied some top coat on the rest of my nails. I'm going ahead and applying some cuticle oil, making sure that my cuticles are looking good, you know. And this is the final look, you guys. So pretty. I love how everything turned out. I love the marble. My favorite nail by far had to be the um, seashell nail. Um, had to be the shell nail, the middle nail. I think it looks absolutely stunning. And just like that, you guys, we've reached the end of the video. Now, as I mentioned earlier, to get 20% off of all these products, I'll have the link in the description box. And again, I just want to thank Betty Cora for sending their awesome products my way. They are absolutely amazing, and I'm so happy to have them in my arsenal of nail products. And yeah, I cannot wait to try out the rest of the nail tips. Please do me a huge favor and hit the like button. Might as well subscribe and join in the family. I'm going to see you guys really, really soon with another video. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Bye, guys.